People lie about everything, <laughs> all their experiences. I'm trying to bitch, tell you. Have they ever been with their cousin? They're going to say no, no immediately, and they're lying. Cousin is crazy, though. That's hopping. crazy. All right, let's get this shit started, man. Fuck it. I'm like, I'm gonna die. Cause I, I knew I got hit so many times. I was like, oh yeah, it's over with. This is done. <laughs> That's the new name. We gotta call him that. <laughs> he kind of said it. He was like, my ideal girl, the girl that I'm gonna be with. Okay. All right, man. It's your boy Von Ray. We back with another episode. Set the record straight podcast. Y'all can see we already oh. fucking cutting up like a motherfucker. This Ooh, <laughs> What's I'm, wrong? I'm, I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just going to be comfortable. You, you ain't got on your New Year's resolution? No. No? That wasn't on my list. It wasn't on? You said fuck no. it. All right. Look. My bad, like, y'all. If I got a resolution, I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> no. That wasn't on my list, baby. But all right. It's I'm another changed. episode. Set the record straight podcast. We are on episode 12. I think so. Um, As y'all can see, we having a good little time already, man. I'm going to let everybody introduce <laughs> themselves. Caviar, you go. We'll, we'll get it started. Let's get it. It's your girl, Caviar Sundays. Uh, Coochie connoisseur, according to my boy Vaughn. Yeah. Look at that all the way I'm now. I'm glad you said that first. Yeah, you know. Um, Real coochie connoisseur. <laughs> okay. You might be sitting next like to that. the dick connoisseur. Okay, <laughs> hold on. We're going to start this show, but let me just... You sitting next we gonna to it. We're going to run it back. All right, hold on. <laughs> Oh, you don't match your match yeah, today. I love that name. <laughs> love it. What's Yo, going on? You no, done? No, no, this nigga, oh, okay, this nigga <laughs> crazy. I'm going to start over. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Caviar Sundays. Miss Lady of All Talents, uh, rapper, actor, designer, philanthropist, mm -hmm. woman of all and many things. Also, shout outs to Howard. They just recognized me for International Women's Month. Coochie Connoisseur. Oh, that's Thank amazing. You. Thank yeah. you so much. What's going on, y'all? It's the one of the only Brian B, formerly known as Big Sexy Official. Yes, sir. And um, mm -hmm. people give me so many different titles. They say I'm a motivational speaker. Some people say I'm a comedian, even though I don't be trying to go out of my motivational way. Motivational speaker? Yes. What the hell you be motivated? Mo oh, well, you must have <laughs> know my content like that, then. That's at the top of my list. If okay. You, if you go to what I really, really, really do, yes, I will check a bit. Okay. But at the top, oh, I'm a motivational you speaker. Motivate. That's all I do. So, you know, I have a list of things. I'm a host. I'm a promoter. Nice. The list goes on. Yeah. Comedian, I, I will give you that. You funny as but hell. But I don't consider myself a comedian. But I don't listen, go out of my listen, that's just you, way. though. It's not you going... Comedians don't consider themselves a comedian. They just be funny as hell naturally. I'm sorry. Yes, they do. They, they sit there and write jokes yes, all day. Yes, they do. Right. They sit you there and write jokes. You have a whole lineup. Right. You think B. B. Simone thought she was a comedian when she first started? B. Simone considers herself a comedian. I don't consider myself a comedian. You need to jump in People that People think I'm funny. No, you are funny as hell. But I don't, like, I, I, I'm I more so, like, just my brand of being myself. Like, exactly. I, I, I more so feel like I'm like Kim Kardashian. But not on that you level. You need to take Kim. on the brand as comedian and don't just let people think you're a goofy ass nigga. Well, it's more so of well, a personality. You know, a personality. You know, they book me for it all, so yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. It's like, whatever you feel I am, that's completely fine. Yeah, you Some funny people say I'm a mom. Long as the check Because I like to walk. Some yeah. people say I'm different things. So it's just like, you know, I could really, I'm really good at all of it. For right. real. As long right. as that check clear. If you, you put me in five things, I'm good at all of it. So if you want to say I'm a comedian, I'm good at that. If I'm a motivational speaker, I know how to get in front of a room of thousands of people and speak. And you That's got really what I get right? booked for all the time. Wait, no. so where are you from? I don't do only Where are you from? Savannah, Georgia. I'm originally <laughs> okay. from Savannah, Georgia. Well, I'm originally from New York, but I moved to Savannah, Georgia when I was 10. So I say I'm from Savannah, but I'm originally from New York. You from okay. Savannah? Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's what they say. Little niggas think because you, you, if you was in there growing up stages, you from Savannah. Everybody just like to take my New York car and just throw it in the garbage. So I said, what part of New York? Fuck it, the Bronx. Okay. Yeah, but I migrated to Savannah, Georgia, so I say I'm from Savannah. So let's get into it, man. Let's let's take it back for some people that may not know you, even though everybody do. Where did you start in this industry? How did it, how did you get to building this platform? You got making these funny ass videos, taking these pictures, embracing. Yo, yo, big sexy and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, like maybe like five, six years ago, I had went viral in my own city. Mm. And so um Jada had reached out to me. For people who don't know who Jada is, Jada Chivas. And I don't really like to attach her to little baby and say little baby's baby mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because nah, she, she has her own brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she has she's her own boss. lane. Yeah. And she been on before he was on. Yeah. yeah, but Definitely. um, we just linked up like we both was in Savannah. We linked up, 
and we just used to hang out every day. And at that time, she had a really, really, really big following. Yeah. And so she would tag me all the time. She would post me all the time. I would see every day. I'm like, my followers going up, up, up. I would go out sometime when I'm not even with her. I'd just be out of the city. And people was like, oh, you're friends with Jada. You. So it was like my following started increasing. Mm-hmm. So then when I had moved to Atlanta, we went our separate ways. And so after that, I'm like, damn, because everybody knew me in connection to her. Yeah. They had my own lane. I didn't have my own following. It was 90% of Jada's following that she just gave me because I was around her every fucking day. Mm-hmm. Shout out so, to her though, because she helped you build a platform. She did. Mm-hmm. And I all I would never take that away from her. Mm-hmm. And so when me and her went our separate ways, I was like, damn, what the fuck am I going to do with myself? <laughs> like, they are like, oh, I was so nervous. I remember having these conversations to myself because I'm like, damn, my following probably not going to increase. Because now mm-hmm. I don't have that person that's helping me build it. What am I going to do? So I started doing videos, just popping my shit. Yeah. Motivating women. That's why I said you got to do really do your research. Mm-hmm. Like I was motivating women, like going in, talking about real topics, real situations. So I had went on Facebook one day, posted the video, took a nap, got up, and the shit was viral. It's fuck on Facebook. Was it about body so, positivity? No, it actually wasn't. It was about women dropping men mm-hmm. that are not qualified to be in their life. Okay. So I posted the video, took a nap, woke up, and went viral. Yeah. Nice. So I started doing my own videos. After that, I was looking. I was like, okay, just popping my shit. Listen to different situations going on, different things I see my friends going through, different things I see other people going through, making up situations that I have went through. Mm-hmm. Maybe not necessarily that day. Of what I've experienced, but just talking about different real shit. And so after that, it just continued to build. So you've been yeah. setting the record straight for a minute. For a, minute. For a while. <laughs> I've been doing this for a while. Nice. And yeah. that's why I tell people, you literally have to keep grinding. Got a lot of going. times people think shit is just going to literally happen overnight. Yeah, don't nothing and overnight to. is not even two years. Mm-hmm. Overnight is not three years. Overnight, you literally have to keep grinding. Because people feel like they've this been the around... This motivational for- speaking right here. You oh, see God. Let that nigga be. Yeah. <laughs> keep going. Oh, yeah, Let that nigga go. Yeah, it's <laughs> like a lot of times people think they've been doing something for three years and they're supposed to have these amazing, magnificent results mm. and their podcast or their business is just supposed to be booming out of this world. It's like, no, you got so much more work yeah. to put in. Still to this day, I got so much more work to put in. So I've really been doing this for a while, but that is where it started at. I tell people all the time, if you're not willing to put five years of work with no pay, don't even set yourself up to do this entrepreneur shit. That's real. Go you know, work for somebody yeah. and make their dreams come true. That's but if you're fact. not if you're not willing to put five years in with no pay, and when I say no pay, you may make a couple hundred, but where you may think you need to be, as far as thousands and millions, you got to put work in, my nigga. That's, That's what, yeah, fact. I completely agree because that makes me think about you know our design. Yeah, you know, I've been like making clothes for a minute and. You know, a couple like two months ago, Glorilla wore one of my jackets to her exactly. concert, and I was like, and "How many years you in with that?" It's like six. Exactly. You know what I'm saying I done gave out mad free shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying and I was like, "Fuck it!" Like, you know, you gotta take them type of risk and take them leaps, and like you said, like you never know. It, shit. It'll be that you took a nap. You know yes. what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And then from there, taking a nap, your whole element changed. Everything changed for you. And it's like now I've created my own lane. I, I would say maybe. 30% of people still attach me to her mm-hmm. because those core fans that have been around since mm-hmm. we was young know exactly what the situation was, the process, everything that happened. But 70% of people who see me out in the streets now, who book they, me for events for with different things that I'm going, it's for Big Sexy. Yeah. It's not the attachment to her. So yes, she take d- it back. Like, what, what was the situation? Like, was it <laughs> that bad? Like, y- y'all can't rekindle so, this friendship? So, um, okay, so this is, this is how I see things, right? Me, I'm a, big, a Gemini. But mm-hmm. see, I got big personality. So I don't. Nobody gets a second chance with me. Exactly. Nobody. Uh, I don't. Everybody is different. I, yeah. I'm not. Oh man, I wish Celine was here. She a Gemini too. Yeah. I'm not a second chance person. Like yeah. I'm more of a like you will talk to me when I'm in the grave, because I feel like <laughs> people. I'm so serious. Like if you know me personally, mm-hmm. I would literally get you a Bentley, you a Bentley. But once you do me wrong one time, I I I don't. Yeah, Go I'm back. The, I'm the same yeah. way. Literally, I don't, it's nothing I want to talk about. I don't want to rekindle anything with you. I don't want, ever want to be friends with you again. Damn. Never. Once you show me your true colors, everybody is different. I'm a cancer. Mm-hmm. I be forgiving niggas. No, not me. Never. Yeah, I'm a Virgo. Nothing, I'm pretty It's nothing that we ever have to talk about. My that's friends. A, that's my problem. Hate 
that about me because I could get very cold. I, I don't give yeah. a fuck. So I wait, don't wait, you care into if you get sick. I don't give a fuck if something happened to you. I don't give a fuck. I don't. Because this nigga be like, the nigga, the reason why you sick, because you fucked me over. <laughs> like, you, <laughs> what, when, when somebody show, and I think that's why a lot of times people, mm -hmm. we constantly get our feelings hurt over and over and over again, mm -hmm. because you think people are going to change and they do the same thing over. You show me one time. Ooh, and you, you going to believe that shit. Friends, niggas, I don't play. I don't play with nobody. So I say that to say, the situation that happened, I was in the wrong. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't blame her for not wanting to rekindle. Like, okay. No, like, because you know how you already are with somebody. If you, they do some shit you don't fuck with. So it's like you're not going to have the expectation yeah. that somebody's At least you can accept you. that. Yeah. Oh, I accept the whole heart. Yeah. yeah. I get it. I'm not upset and about it. you're still it. all right, regardless. Oh, I'm yeah. regardless real good. Situation. But y'all in close proximities where she, you and her, that y'all around the same people. Yeah. yeah. And you it's like, I literally was just around. I was went to her sister's grand opening. And it was okay. amazing. It wasn't no bad vibes. Mm. Her sister was super dope. Her sister's a boss. It's no bad vibes. I apologized. And I moved on from that. Yeah. But um, I don't blame her for not wanting to rekindle anything because that's how I am. I, I want to rekindle nothing. Yeah. It's, I, I don't want you to pull me to the side to have a conversation. It's like, I'm going to walk by you and act like I've never met you before. It's demonic. And I love it. Because it, it helps me. Um, <laughs> it helps me surround myself around people who I know are good for me. Yeah. I think a lot of times people, we consistently put ourselves back into the same and also situation. And it's, it's called seasons. You know what I'm saying? People like yes. the seasons. So, yeah. And, you, and so you how the season. situation panned out, I mm -hmm. was in the wrong. Yeah. So it was when we moved to Atlanta. My best friend came up here first with Jada. My best friend. They built a relationship. I wouldn't necessarily say through me, but we were all we were all connected. Mm -hmm. And then them two end up moving up here. This was like probably six years ago. Okay. But so I wasn't where Jada I'm at from right Savannah now. As well? huh? Jada's from Savannah as well. Yeah, Jada's okay. from Savannah. Okay. Yeah, she is. So they end up moving up here to Atlanta. I was still in Savannah. So it was a situation that happened with um a vehicle. Right? Yeah. And so, make a long story short, them two end up having a argument. They had an argument. He ended up still, two days later, going to her hosting. At her hosting, he ended up getting jumped. Oh, mm. shit. Right? So, at that time, we got upset because we felt like she should have did more as a friend to stop the situation. Hold on, hold on. I got a question. So these are we, these is niggas beating yeah. him. Mm -hmm. So you think her as a woman is supposed to step in the middle of men fighting? <sighs> Not me that. as a woman, when niggas get fight, get the rumbling, I'm getting out the way. Like nigga, you I'm, ain't helping I, me, I, I, nigga. No, it's grown ass oh, men. I'm, I'm not going getting outside with you. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm gonna I'm do this. I, I, I got my pistol oh, in my bag. As long as you got the piece on you, because I, I got, got pistol, mine. But me physically getting no, in the middle of grown men fighting. As long as you got the no strap, way. you good? Because I'm gonna have mine. I mean, I might scream, stop, but I'm not finna get in it. Oh no, I'm not finna get my little ass beat. I rather, I rather you have your gun. Yeah, she's little like you. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Respectfully, I'm not getting in the middle of grown men fighting. Staying at 100. percent Because when grown men, y'all really be. Moving shit around. Yeah, like, yeah. Y'all yeah, be hitting absolutely, shit for real. Absolutely. But it's just in that moment. Because hindsight is always 20, 20. The, So uh, when no. you look back, you be like, yeah, what did you expect? Jada to Jada's right. 120 pounds. But we just felt like she did nothing. Like, yeah. she didn't say, stop. She didn't say. You think she was just probably stuck? Like, whoa, shit. It was and so that much was, going that on. That was their perspective on it. Like, yeah. she was in shock. Yeah. You know? Mm. And, and now I give her that. I do, because yeah. she is a woman at the end of the day. But we was upset. We was irate. He had got beat up. He was bleeding. Mm -hmm. It just was, we it's was upset. Yeah. We were not here in Atlanta, so we couldn't even get to him quick enough. So we was mm. all panicking. Yeah. The yeah. next day, I ended up calling her. And I was like, hey, sis, what happened? Like, mm. they said you was out there. They said you didn't do anything. Like, what? What happened? And so that was her thing to me. Like, what the fuck did you expect <laughs> me to do? do? Right. Yeah. I said, but they act like you didn't even care. They said you was out there like very nonchalant about the situation because mm -hmm. I guess you still felt some type of way towards them about what had happened when you could have been out there at least saying, you guys stop, like I'm going to call the police or whatever it is. Yeah. You could have interfered or whatever. So we had our back and forth. So the lack of action. Was we got off the phone. Mm -hmm. I hadn't spoken to her for like a week. Her birthday party was that following week. So we had seen, because we thought we was a group of friends, everything was going to just die down mm -hmm. and go back to be a copacetic. And so we didn't get an invitation to the party. Ooh, that can't hear from her. Sometimes. We didn't get an invitation. It was like, fuck you. Nothing. That basically was like a fuck you. 
to that's how you took it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, so, also it's like my birthday. I don't want no drama shit at my birthday. Yeah, party. so like, it probably wasn't yeah. like a fuck you, but y'all took it that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like we still friends. We could have put that aside for your birthday. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how you. I feel. see both sides. And That's we was right. like, "What? Well, damn! Like you didn't. She didn't have no remorse about it. That's how we felt. Yeah, like you didn't say, oh, 'Oh, I'm so sorry about what happened.' She literally blocked us and oh, kept shit. going on. So of course, you know, when you acting out of anger, you do things. In the moment of being upset that you really don't mean. mean. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I've even learned, yes, true indeed, your mouth is very powerful. Mm-hmm. But that's like if me and you was together and, and we get into an uh, argument and I say some hurtful shit, I don't really mean that shit. Yeah. I don't really want you to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying it because I'm, I'm pissed at yeah. the moment. Yeah. And really in an argument, you... You find yourself just wanting to throw the most spars. Whoever could, you want to win the war. But also, I'm, the I'm into some astrology shit, and she's a Libra. I yeah, think she is. they take stuff personally. Uh-huh. They, they're very, they, sens- they can be very yeah. sensitive. So I can see, because I'm a Virgo, so I like I don't really get into the shit. But when I get the getting into it, I'm I'm like you, like a Gemini. Like I'm gonna say some shit that really hurt your fucking exactly. feelings. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I goes in. I be yeah, trying to tell so, my girl. I be telling you to leave, but I really be meaning stay. I just want you to <laughs> shut the fuck up, like. I be saying, get out, but I really be like, But I also take, I take motherfuckers' words for face value because I kind of got into it with somebody I used to be cool with and they threatened me. And now it's up for them. Like, I, if I ever run into them, I'm, I'm, it's, I don't have no words. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because uh-huh. you don't threaten me. You know what I'm saying? So everybody can take how shit she differently. And she probably just took it real personal. Yeah, like, damn. And you probably was like, bitch, die. like, it ain't Fuck even you. that serious. No, we, went, we took it to social media. We was upset. Me and oh, her. Y'all was going back and forth. Not the internet forth. thugging. Yeah. yeah. That's, where it get, that's where I got And she probably go yeah. serious with that shit because I know she ain't forgive her sister for that internet shit for a long time. Yes. And yeah, and it's like y'all got big followings. And, and I'm mm. and you know what? I'm the same way. That's yeah. why I do not blame. Because if you take anything to social media with me, I have nothing to say to you. Yeah. Damn. Because it's like we grown-ass people yeah. now, yeah. up with each other. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And if, if me and you can fight right now, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But if you then take it to social media and you start spewing out lies and different things like that, we have nothing more that we have to talk about yeah. ever in life. Cause now you, I see you a lie. You did it. Yeah, it's weird. It's just like it's 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 no yeah. need for a friendship. Yeah, so that's we got we a lot did. in common. I like you. We took it to social media <laughs> and we did say a lot of nasty things. Mm. And it just got real ugly because we ended up saying some real nasty shit. We was on there for like two hours. That day, just going <laughs> in. Everybody was on there. It's on YouTube. It, it was trending topic. It was again. everywhere. Yeah, because they knew we all used to be together and we said some really mean things because we couldn't believe that she really didn't take any accountability and, and we knew that was and semi- that was probably the whole point that was pissing you off like yes. girl just say damn you could at least call the police exactly but on the other end you kind of took it to the next level too by the hurtful shit so i can understand and it was side. like the bystanders that was out there was like yeah she really did shit like she really was just right there like okay, yeah i can understand both not my business and so that's where it had hurt us yeah. you know but again hindsight is always 2020 so yeah. i get it now but that is what happened and so after that it's just i hadn't been in contact with her since hadn't ran into her did not see her none of that mm-hmm. until we had mm-hmm. did saucy santana video for walk Oh, y'all did it together? Yeah, but they had, you know, my girl, she's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had her, like, secluded somewhere else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when I was done, it was time for her to come on, and we we crossed paths, and that was the first you time I had. You think they did it on purpose like that? Cause she um, probably... I don't think they did it on purpose like oh, that. Okay. I don't think they did it on, it was just like a coincidence. Yeah, yeah. And literally, we seen each other, and that was it. We didn't speak or anything. Like, she was going to handle her business. I was leaving. Damn. And that was the first time I had seen her in, like, three years. But you don't think to be like, you know what, girl, let's... Drop this shit. We ain't gotta ever be cool how we was, but we could just be like, "Hey, girl." How you I doing? end up apologizing though. Yeah, like yeah. probably a year later. It I'm sounds like it sounds like y'all cordial. Y'all just not besties. Like you yeah. know, because if you could coexist, like for me, when I'm beefing with a nigga, I want the whole room to know I don't fuck mm-hmm. with you. You know what I'm saying? It don't sound like that. It sound like all right, well, yeah, it we sound like y'all could be in the cool. business I can setting. I walk past you. You can walk past me. It's whatever. Yeah. Like yeah, and when yeah. I tell you, at this place I'm at in my life right now, mm-hmm. when I look back at how I operated, it was not right. It was disgusting. And so I'm able to move forward from it. She's doing so good. Every time I see her, I be like, bitch, eat. I be so proud. Like, yeah. we both from the same city. We was besties. We was around each other every mm-hmm. day, talking every day, do your thing. I'm doing mine. Yeah. I'm so good. Yeah. I'm, I'm so good in where I'm at in my life. Like, really, really, really good. So it shows your maturity, I think, though. I think if I wasn't where I'm at in my life right now, 
I probably would be like, oh, damn. Yeah. But because of where I'm at in my life and I'm doing so good and I'm so blessed and I got so much shit going on for myself. It's no it's hate. Like, it's, it's no, no hate, hate. Girl, yeah, do your yeah. thing. I love it. I even be in a blog sometimes defending her. Because I don't like yeah. when people speak lies. Because like, you really know facts. what the business is. I know what the business is. Yeah, exactly. Self-made. She's self-made. One thing I can say about Jada, self-made. She was 16 years old, cashing out $100,000 a week. Exactly. For her hair company. Like, real money. So, exactly. You know. So, you know man, I, I done checked in on all your shit. I was thinking, like, when you did, was it the one chip challenge that you did? And you shitting on yourself? The one chip challenge. What was the video when you were shitting on yourself because you, you was eating something hot or something like that? No, that was an edible. That was an edible? Yeah. What the fuck? I was I, watching that shit. I was on the floor dying. Everybody say that. I was like, I what never the do it again. fuck? I would never <laughs> do that again. I have never in my life smoked or drank before. So when you took that edible, you just did something? Oh, it was demonic. <laughs> it was like... I was good, right? And my friends, they be telling me to make sure, because they know how powerful the social media shit is. Bruh. They say, make sure you let people know we talk, because they were so nervous. Yeah. And my friends as the type of people, they don't give a fuck. I got some banshee ass, ghetto ass friends yeah, yeah. that I'll be around. Yeah. And they don't give a fuck what nobody think. But that, they was like, no, you need to clarify that. We told you over and over and over. Don't, don't ever do make it shit. seem like, because they felt like people would still say, they told if you, to you do know it. you didn't drink or smoke before and you have friends that drink and smoke, yeah. they should have warned you and told you what that shit was going to do to you. So that was fucked up. But they <laughs> did. They told me, literally, I kid you not, they told me at least five times. Don't especially do my friend Flex. My friend Flex was like, bitch, put that down. I'm telling you, stop eating that. that you is gonna be in here fucked up. How much, so how many, how much did you eat? Right. I'm like, like what did you consider? Because that shit happened to me. Literally, I had when I had got shot, like the, the medicine they gave me, like it wasn't working no more. So I went and started eating edibles. And I went to the dude. I was like, bro, give me some good shit. He was like, Yeah, just take like one and a half. I was in so much pain. I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm gonna take three. Nigga, you talking about I felt like my soul left my body type of shit. Like, I was up, and I was oh. like, God, please let me come back down. I didn't know what to do, bro. Oh, Shit was retarded. God. Like, it's like a whole nother feeling. Ooh. I, just, I wasn't shitting, though. It's the being high and then not wanting to be high How many did you no eat? Did you eat it like candy? I ate it like candy. It was so bad. I was good. I took two. I said, I don't feel shit. Yeah, because you ain't going to feel it right that's away. What do to you. As soon as you underestimate that motherfucker, that motherfucker like, yeah, going to hit. Hold on, let me show you something real quick. And that bitch smacked Max was in his phone. He looked up and said, I'm telling you to stop. Because they know I don't listen to nobody. I do what I want. Exactly. He was like, but you got to learn. You do not eat. No, I'm telling you. It's, I said, I don't feel nothing at all. Yeah, took you, another one. Took another <laughs> one. You was expecting to hit like a blunt. Because as you smoke, you can contain and control yes. your highness. No, my boy. When I tell you, I was like, okay, I'm going to leave. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. He had forgot about it, too, because this was like, I promise y'all, it was like 30 minutes later. I did not feel nothing. So I was about to leave. I go to the car. It's like, I was like. Uh-huh. That shit hit you. <laughs> Mind you, I ain't never smoked in my life. Not yeah. even hit the blunt. Yeah. Nothing. Like, nothing. I have never even took a shot of alcohol before. <sighs> so, I am go to the car. I'm like, ooh. I, it was just like. You was about to drive? Yeah, because I ain't felt nothing. No. And Did I sat in the, in the driver's, driver's seat. seat. <laughs> I called Flex. I said. Oh, yeah, I might have to get taken to the emergency room. <laughs> you so know how crazy? did you end up hey, yo, on wait, the wait, side wait. of the house? Hold on, wait. I had a girl <laughs> tell me before she won't ever eat edibles before again because... I was never in my... Yes. How did I you had end up on the, the side of the shit. house with the water holes in your mouth and all that other shit, though? Listen, so flex, <laughs> but I told him that on the phone, he instantly on the other side started screaming, laughing. I told you, you don't. Because they'd feel like I do not yeah. listen. He would scream like, I told you, I promise you. I know. Come here, I got to record just what the fuck you get. Exactly. I told you not to do that shit, and you did it anyway. I said, you might have to come to the car and get me. I can't even feel my legs. I felt like I was like Flying. about to blast off. Yeah. Like a rocket yeah. Ship. <laughs> now, this shit really out of body. So he comes out to the car with my other best friend, True. And they instantly record, and I'm looking at them like, stop recording me. I'm being dead ass serious. I can't even feel my feet right now. Dang. So they helped me in the house, and then that's <laughs> what happened. Like, I felt like I was like, boy, 
the shit be so funny. Like, I swear to God, when I saw that, I was just like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? Dad, and when I seen the videos and I seen the shit, I said, fuck that shit. I'm Let still it ride. Posting it. Let yeah, it ride. Yeah, bitch. Even the, other one, <laughs> even the other one y'all posted recently when y'all was dancing. What's your other friend name, the other big boy? Flex. Flex. Uh -huh. That nigga funny as hell, too, because uh, when he was dancing, that. I was like, that nigga was serious, but your ass was laughing because you thought it was funny, but he was dead in his mood. Yeah. That shit was hilarious, bro. I got to give it to y'all, man. Y'all got your own lane. All that. That's yeah. all we do all day is laugh. Exactly. Like, we have a good time. That's why I be telling people, like, even though I know they do like to give me different titles, like influencer, comedian, model. Like, I wouldn't say comedian because that's what we really do on a regular. Yeah. Like, we don't write down material and be like, okay, is this funny? We literally just be talking shit, mm -hmm. doing different things. Like, if he was in here right now, we'd probably be talking in our little funny voice that we always use, dying laughing. Yeah. And stupid shit. Like, <laughs> and stupid shit. So, so it's that's just probably, like, so that's probably why your following fucks with you so hard is because it's you just, a good just time. yourself. Yeah, and I think that's be. also what sets you apart from a lot of people on the internet. A lot of people come up, and we talked about this, having facades and trying to sit up there and figure, like, what is my content going to be about today? Like, we talked about oh, also, like, why so we good. are each our own people. Like, Celine is known for travel and influence, and, of course, being a bad, a bad bitch. Right? Me, I'm known for doing my community work. I'm a rapper, but I'm mostly known because I be chilling. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't get on the internet. I mean, I'm funny. I'm goofy sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I, my, my homies that's close to me know that. But, like, with you, it seems like, yeah, you, you just living your truth every day. Mm -hmm. And that's what continues to have people yes. gravitate towards you. And that's why I said Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. because You think Kim, Kim K lives in her truth? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm not, <laughs> not the living in the truth part. Because yeah. that's synonymous. That's yeah. really, like, it's... Um, that's another story but for another she's day. she's known to be her. Yes. Exactly. And that's why, like, her brand is literally, she's famous for being herself. Mm -hmm. mm. So like a Jamie Foxx. Like a, yes. That's uh, the best person to be. You ain't got to yeah. put on no facade. You yeah. ain't got to sit home and write notes about what to say because you really just going to be yourself. And you yes. got the chance to laugh at the edible situation instead of being embarrassed by it. You know, and people got the uh, opportunity to connect with you and laugh about the shit too. Yes, and it's just like, and not synonymous because that was the wrong word that I used mm -hmm. for that context. Mm -hmm. But it's really like your perspective of what you think like somebody like when it comes to Kim Kardashian it's your perspective yeah. on her like whatever you I think, feel I think, I think Kim K is a, um, she's a brand she's a though brand, yeah, yeah she's definitely she a, is brand. a brand I don't, I don't really know much about her because I'm not gonna lie I'm not really into the Kardashians mm -hmm. but I, I do know that one thing about her she know how to get a bag yes for like, sure, so, she don't. You know, she know how to get a bag. They definitely I know how to get that. a bag. <laughs> I respect that shit. Like, uh -huh. you know how to get a bag. Yes, yeah, she, she do. But that just goes back into, like, just being yourself. Like, I be having a lot of people that reach out, want to do collabs. Like, podcasts now, they're doing podcast collabs where they'll go on each other's show and shit. Or they want to do business with you. And I just sometimes feel like some of these shows don't be genuine. Like, mm -hmm. I be like, I know y'all niggas. I know y'all not really business oriented mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> y'all mm -hmm. niggas putting out ebooks and don't even have a fucking Airbnb. Uh -huh. Like, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying? It just be weird. And then mm -hmm. I have guys that want to work with me or collab or something and, or they want to invest and do business together. And I just be like, I could never do business with somebody that ain't even loyal to their own wife. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I just yeah, feel like, absolutely. my nigga, I can't trust you with business when I know you cheat on your the wife you've been with for mm -hmm. years. Like, mm -hmm. it's just weird to me. But I just, me having to be genuine to myself and say, bro, it's, I'm, I'm good right now. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So, I definitely understand being yourself. And when I created this show, I ain't want to get on here popping no motivational shit. Even though people look at me and be like, dude, you survived all these shots. You should be on some more pot. No, I get you. I'm there. I'm, I believe in God, but that just ain't me to be trying mm. to motivate y'all on some Christian mm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Just not me. So that's why we created this show, just to have these conversations and be ourselves. But on another hand, I remember seeing some shit about Armand. Um, what happened with that? What started that whole Armand beef? Because I just First of all, understand. your it's face no beef, right baby. now is funny as fuck. I'm crying. <laughs> it's it's your face right now. you like... It's no beef. It's it is no what beef. it is, baby. It's no beef. It's no beef. Beef is like... Like Crips and Blood. And who like, we talk, if, for everybody that know, because a lot of my followers probably follow Armand they, too. They, Armand no, but a lot of your followers probably don't know who Armand is. So exactly that too. So we, Ar we Armand, who's who his about? last name? Armand Wiggins. He's a blog. Yeah, prime example. They don't know her. <laughs> God. <laughs> my bad, Armand. Shout out to Armand. Man. My bad, Armand. She's on her. She's on the rise, but currently they don't know her right now. But what happened though? Like, what was the? How did you get stirred up into this YouTube beef sector? 
But it's not B, friend. It's I mean, not well, B. How did y'all get on this live and he was okay, calling so you a shitty boy and you was calling him something and then y'all was going back and forth? It's so it was weird. Because <laughs> he was basically trying to reference him to this video where he had the edible and he shit on himself. No, but that wasn't that. That was another video. Oh, he was referencing to another video. Yeah, it was another so video. You that... shit on yourself twice? No, listen. So I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> God damn. So I was dealing with this dude, uh -huh. right? And I had never went public with a nigga before, but I had went public with him. Mm -hmm. So it was a big deal. It was like, it was like a big deal. Like the, the pictures were sent out probably like 20,000 times. God damn. And so when he couldn't get his way no more, because just like I told you, I don't do second chances with nobody. Mm -hmm. I sent his ass walking back to California. Got you. Literally. <laughs> like however the fuck he got, if he had to get on a jet ski, he was getting the fuck out of my house. He would have had to go around so, Mexico type shit. Go around, <laughs> uh, scuba dive, drink a boat, where however you got to get back to where you going. God get damn. So I ended up sending him back. He ends up going live about me. And he was just like, oh, um, his breath stink. He had some shitty underwears in his room. Oh, um, he was getting all of this money. And he said that he was going to take care of me. But he never did, which was completely a lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I do nothing but take care of people that's around me. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, he was getting all of these payments. He would go to the bank saying that he was going to um look out, but he never looked out. Just being real bitter, lying. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, he drugged me. That doesn't even make sense because I don't even do drugs. Exactly. I don't do drugs. And then, what, and, and then on top of that, I haven't even had sex in three years. Mm. So what would be the purpose of me wanting to drug you? That doesn't even, if this was in a court of law, and I had a lawyer. What would be the purpose of me wanting to drug you? For what benefit? Mm -hmm. If they took a blood test, they would see that none of your sperm is in my body. Yeah. I haven't had sex in three years. Mm -hmm. Three whole years. Yeah. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I don't do cocaine. I don't smoke weed. I don't do none of that. So what would be the purpose of me wanting to drug you? But what it is, is he thought that was going to be able to take down my brand and mm -hmm. my business spewing out lies with no receipts. Anywho, so I guess it got on the table of our mind. Mm-hmm. Because I did go live, and what the fuck I said was, <laughs> if you did go in my room and you see the shitty pair of underwears, maybe I had a bad day. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's right. That's why they tell niggas, stop wearing white drawers, my nigga. That was my favorite. Stop wearing love, white drawers. Love me a white pair. You like the tidy whities Love me a piece of tidy whitey. Okay. That's what I said. That's I what said, they said. Niggas you want... need to wear dark color drawers. You don't know, see the shit stains. And they last longer. But also, why are you walking around with shit stains in your drawers? It's not, not like a nigga, a nigga thing? may fart. It may be like a that's like he, a man. He thing. took a shit, ain't white good enough type shit. You I know what I'm saying? Just see, so but that's one of them things. Okay. Learn when I tell day. you, if you go by social media, and if you go by even sitting here having a conversation with you or you, mm -hmm. you will be fooled by people. People be mm -hmm. lying, and they do the yeah. even girls people walk around with blood stain draws. Y'all, y'all, yeah. period. Come on, y'all don't even know it's that time of the month. Yeah, y'all walk around and they got a permanent blood stain in the drawers <laughs> that you wear every other day. I'm not lying. Everyone, no, I'm keeping it. Time out, time out, time out. I'm keeping it. You was good. Ninety eight percent to you said the every other day part. No, I'm just saying. Like, yeah, I mean, your period come, you don't know. I mean, most yeah, of the time, but it be a permanent it depends, stain. I don't know. Even when you wash age, them, you know. just like the shit stain. When you wash them, it may still be a little brown. No, but I'm, it ain't I'm, a fresh I'm shit stain. I just feel like white away. draws. When you go by so, and even right, even if we have five people in there in, in this room right now, God bless you. Thank you. And they says that doesn't pertain to me. And they, they, and they lie. because everything I give them this, everything don't pertain to everybody. I mean, get right? this stain these draws, but throw them hoes away when you're done. No, oh yeah. But everything don't pertain to everybody. Yeah. yeah. Because even when I tell people I don't drink and I, and I don't smoke, they think I'm lying. They think I be no, lying No, because too. you do it. I don't. Yeah. You, I don't don't you can take my blood test. Okay. I, don't, I did it before. But you don't anymore. I don't, do, I don't indulge it. He tell you that he ain't never seen me drink or smoke anything. Yeah. So it's like different things may pertain to different people, right? And I'm not going to say, oh, everybody walk around with shit stains. Mm -hmm. Everybody walk around with bloody panties. That may not be true. Because some people I have met, even men that be stupid big on their hygiene. Heavy, heavy, Man, heavy. I'm on hygiene, big on my right? hygiene, and it had been times that a moment that happened, stomach weak, and I didn't make it there in 0. 0.5 seconds, and some shit went down that I, I, I didn't want to go and down. And that's why I love having a conversation you know with you. I ain't gonna lie, I've had, had a similar situation. You because you're a real person, like, 
Yeah. I've even asked people like, have you ever had like a wet fart? And I've had a room Man, full of 10 all people sell, and all 10 of them say no. And That's I'm like, a fucking lie. wow, people really, but people are going to go with what is popular and a lot of people not bold enough to stand in this room. Oh, so I, get exactly, exactly. I get it. And I know that everybody is not me, but you cannot go by what people say. It be a lie. People be lying. I promise you. <laughs> so I say that to say they couldn't take it when I had actually got on live because I only got on live one time. Because you don't get too many responses. Exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. I gave Armand one too many. Because there's nothing Armand could do for me. Yeah. Nothing. Barely what he could do for himself. But I gave the boy that I was dealing with one live video. And what I said was, if you went to my room and you seen a shitty pair of underwear, it maybe was a bad day. It maybe was a, a bad day. And it is what it is. It is what it you is. You should have took the underwear and you should have packaged them hoes and sold them on eBay. I don't give a fuck. Oh, it God. is what it is at the end of the day. So Armand took it upon himself. And went down to his basement and put it on his podcast <laughs> without at least reaching out to me and saying, hey, like, what was the real story of what happened? Like, did he really see a shitty pair of underwear in your room? Like, what actually happened? What he did was he went on his podcast and he only went by one um, person's side of the story. And then that's when I responded to him. Yeah. And so me and him had our back and forth. And then after that, when different blog pages was posting me, because I remember, shout out Neighborhood Talk, one of my favorites. Thanks. Neighborhood Talk, um, they had posted me. Amber Rose had posted me. It was another page that had posted me. And each time, our mom would be in the comments writing negative things about me. Mm. Now, mind you, this was only one encounter that we had, which was on live with each other, going back and forth, which that's all funny games. I don't care. That type of shit don't hurt my feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so thorough built. Like, I think I might need therapy because what I tell you is nothing that nobody can say to me that's going <laughs> to have me down. Oh, God. I go on right about my business. It is what it is because I could get that shit right back to you. Yeah. But after that, he just kept commenting on certain things. So it was a situation that happened with him and Lotto. He was speaking on Lotto. Yeah, I saw I love that. Lotto. That's my sister. I like Lotto, So too. I went on the shade room, and I commented on the <laughs> post. And so that's when it went left. That's when the situation that recently happened. Mm-hmm. So it's no beef. It's not a beef. It's just more so like an internet type of yeah. back and forth. But it, it's not it no just beef. internet. And I could say, Armand really a fan of Lotto? He just wasn't expecting a response that she gave him after his commentary. And that's why I tell a lot of people that I run into like a lot of haters are fans. Celebrities. Absolutely. That's not fan. That's well, not fan. Well, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it like this. I ain't gonna say he a hater, but what I'm gonna say is it's like people don't understand that sector of the YouTube. They think it's talking shit. Like, like I was telling you earlier, y'all think it's talking shit, but it's really just entertainment with that no, name. It's talking shit. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what it is. You, Cause you Arman, get out that camera. Arman is a hater. Armand is a hater. <laughs> Period. Where's my camera, bro? Armand is a hater, period. <laughs> it's no way to put that. But he is a hater. The, what he I'm is saying, a hater because a lot of times when you're a hater, camera. you really be a fan. But he'll get off the camera, he'll call you, he'll see you in LA or when oh, he in please. Atlanta. And y'all be cool. Those those are little girl games. I don't play them little girl I know, games. I'm just saying that's Stay just on how your they side do. of the fence. That's they done fine. made so many blogs about me. And when I Child get on please. the phone with these niggas and really get to talking that gangster shit, like, bro, do you really know the fuck I am? They don't, bro. You know, it's just commentary. I ain't really mean it like no. that. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm happy I'm a community guys. nigga, and I, you know. So I really had to take a step and be like, shit. "Oh, this shit ain't that." Because when I first started in this shit, and I seen all these blogs, I'm on the <laughs> nigga hit my line like I don't do That's this. That's some goofy ass shit. You though. know what I'm saying? I'm on the phone like nigga hit my line, nigga. You know I pull up and do 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 do. No, Vaughn, it ain't like that. We really just did the- nah, that's I had not to okay. understand what well, was no, going it's on. Not nah, it's not, it's not, I would never put yeah, my no. life in jeopardy for But yeah, no, that's exactly what I just no. that's where I'm come from. So it was just like when I understood Please. what it was, then I was like, oh, this I'm shit really you, ain't y'all. that serious. No, I it's don't not that serious. You know I'm I'm, I'm, I don't disagree with you. It's not that serious, but yeah, it's not. It's no, I ain't gonna see we don't do that on here. We don't No, I'm just saying, I'm just you as an example. I'm just saying that's what it is. That's how I give it up. It's yeah. so beef. I'm going to go about my beautiful, amazing day. It's so beautiful I outside. Feel you. But what it is, is I, it's nothing I ever have to say to you. That's yeah, just, yeah. That is just my personality. I would never be able to shake that about me. Yeah. And I just feel, I, I guess for me, like I have loyalty 
that runs deep with people. I feel you. And so that's why I would label Armand a hater. Armand is a hater to me. Gotcha. Because when you not only just talk about somebody's music, but you talk about their appearance, and then you have people call in, and you constantly have them talking about somebody's appearance, when you don't know what type of situations Lotto go through every day, you don't know what type of self-esteem issues she have, you don't know what type of mental thoughts that she have in her head, it's enough being a woman, it's enough mm. being in the entertainment business, it's enough having people scrutinizing you every day because you have to be perfect and move perfect and you have to have a number one and, and then you got 24. this one who yeah. ain't accomplished too much of nothing but sitting in his basement on his podcast that he's trying to get subscribers on constantly talking about somebody and then you have people calling in saying oh yeah I don't see it for her she's not cute oh she wants to be black and that's just adding on to black? somebody's self esteem she is black but I can see, okay, I can see that confused. side of it when you and break so, it down like that I feel but, you. but also uh, th let's make I a point too that. that also that is self reflection that you got something that you don't like about yourself if you gotta feel like you gotta put other people down you, yeah. saying, you constantly gotta talk shit about somebody else you clearly don't like yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, or you want to be in the same room and don't feel like you, you accomplished don't like what yourself. you should what, accomplish. What, 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 make this point to me. What am I doing by hating on you that's going to make me Well, better? really, you can I beat don't me fuck up. With myself. The same way they saw the hate, she probably, she probably could have saw the big up. Like, damn, I fuck with this girl, and she probably could have fucked with you. So I get yeah. both sides of it. But I do understand also, how Lotto these internet is niggas is, and they not no. really cut like that. They yeah. just be internet. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Lotto's talented. She's actually a very pretty girl. She's lit. Love my sister. Great Cardi. personality. So that shit's corny. I love my sister Cardi. Shout I don't know Armand, but I, I, I'm not, yeah. I don't like that type of interview. But I just like, understand you know, both sides. Like, trust me, I done checked these niggas. I done told these niggas. These niggas just be internet and love my sister Cardi. But it's my like, how much you gonna do for love Lotto? Though? And, and, and I, and I understand girl. all of that too. That's nah. why I just I just look at it like, all right, bro. But now I don't really see them talk about me too much because I didn't really them been down that path. I stopped entertaining the shit. But I did think it was hilarious when y'all was going back and forth. And um Child, yeah, I'm talking about some shit. shitty underwear. Child, that's so old and play <laughs> and delayed. Let me tell you, anything I want, I can get. Oh God. Period. And I'm not talking about physical things. I'm talking about niggas. Ooh. I'm not talking about physical things. He, he was bringing that up as though, what? You say that to say what, babe? I promise you anything that I said, don't ever get it confused and think just because she's a bigger girl. Okay. And I can't pull and, and, and cost her somebody shitty. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll take that. It is what it is. Because oh, the nigga that came out with that rumor about me was in my face with them shitty underwear. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. hey, you know how it go when people get upset, when they get bitter, when you throw them to the side, then that's when all the lies Oh, God, out. been there, done you, that. But when you rocking with an individual, you be like, oh, okay, well, where was all this stuff when all the things was happening? Oh, God. So, you know, at the end of the day, child please. So what's this TV show you got coming out I, I be hearing about? What's up Ooh, with that? I can't really... It's but you got a TV show coming out. It's, yeah. No, it's not just a TV show of me. I am on a TV show. Okay, okay. can you, because uh, I know I, I work in film, so I know it's it kind of hard to tell. So when we going to see this? But I say, when is yeah. it coming now? Your... Give us like a little, you know, give us a little gist, you know. Give us oh a my something. goodness, I can't Wait, whatever tell you can give us. I can't tell y'all too much. Give Don't us say too much. Right. It's, <laughs> oh, oh God, like, give us something. it was an experience. Right. Oh my God. Can you tell us who is around you? Oh God, I you know? Damn! Can you tell it, us? Can you tell us? Um, the network? <laughs> you can't say that shit either. No, I can't say. Just know it's All a right, big. So network. how about this? Can you tell us um, when we can anticipate seeing it? Around in June. Oh, say the summer. Yeah. This summer. This summer. Uh -huh. Okay, so around yes, June, June we July. can see you. And is it is it guys like you? Is it a mixed crowd? No, it's it's a dude I was dealing with. Okay. A dude I was dealing with. So it's a dating show. So this sounds like a Will Packard thing. A dude I was dating with that's on the down low. Oh. Oh, nice. So you exposing some. Is he famous? No, not exposing, baby. Is he famous? No, because I mean, what comes to happens in the dark when yeah. we come to light, baby? And he knew them was cameras all in his face. He so knew what he uh, is for. it. Um, was he a celebrity? Yeah, celebrity. No, uh -uh, he's no, he's just a okay. nigga. Yeah. But he about to be famous. He about to be famous. <laughs> oh, when I tell y'all. Nigga, definitely finna be famous. When I, well, tell I got a question because I, I I like women. Oh so it, in the show, but maybe you can stay in the show or not. But in general, like, how do you feel about dating niggas who want a DL? Because I don't like dating girls who like really got a nigga, but they want to fuck on me. You know what I'm saying? How is that for you? Like? Oh, that's a good podcast. Oh yeah, hey. some good shit. So how do you feel about dating guys on a DL? You don't care. What you, you feel? What you mean? From them? How do I feel about it? Like, like, will you fuck with them some more? Or you try to stay away oh. from them? From what I heard, niggas, the gay boys, they like niggas that ain't really gay or don't want to be gay. Oh. Y'all I mean, like everybody that Everybody likes a little challenge. It's, it's kind of like when a man trying to take a girl virginity type shit. They want to be the first nigga in that ass. 
That's how they be feeling. Vaughn. Oh, my God. Am it, I lying? No, you're not lying. Uh, it can't be. I'm telling the truth. Hey, but Bono. I don't want to be in nobody's ass. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no. But I'm saying, like, you try to stay away from <laughs> not the throw, I'm the receiver. Okay. But. Um, Big sexy. Throw it back. <laughs> I think, like. That's. Say it, uh, my nigga. Say it. No, 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 no. I'm yes just... or no? Because it's hard. Because I get it. Because I like being private. I like real secretive. I like a sneaky link. Like, I love a sneaky I got a song called Sneaky Link. That's how much I like sneaky link. But I feel like that is like a thrill when you fucking with somebody you kind of, quote, unquote, not supposed to be fucking with. Yes. You know? And it's just that conversation could get so deep mm -hmm. because. Do you find yourself fucking with more DL niggas? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. But those are the ones that are attracted to me. Like mm -hmm. the boys that look like me, those not they don't want me. Mm -hmm. It's the boys that's that's like at the gas station, like those type of niggas. Oh, I know. Those type of niggas. I literally when I so I'm from DC. Yeah. Listen, Damn. I'm from DC, and I remember going to make this back the day I went to McDonald's. One of my homeboys is gay, real cute boy, and we in there. I'm talking thugged out nigga, like most straight presenting mask presenting nigga you ever gonna see. He walk up to my homeboy, he get to talking to him. And I'm like on my phone, so I'm not really paying attention. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this nigga just risked him up. Yeah, I'm like, this nigga just hit on my man. And my homeboy, we walked out. I'm like, nigga. He like, bitch, this happened every day. He like, more That's niggas crazy. than you think. It, and it be the thug ass niggas. It be the hood ass niggas that, that be on that DL shit. Like, so you wondering why your baby daddy you love going back to jail and don't give a fuck? Because he going to get more ass in that motherfucker than you throwing hey, back at yo. home. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> but when I tell you this, <laughs> Every man is not gay. I know that. Like That's every woman is not every gay. Every man, because I, and the reason why, when people ask me that, because you know I have all female friends, mm -hmm. and they always want to know, like, is every nigga, like, secretly mm -hmm. gay? No. Or is every man, like, secretly bisexual that they want to, like, experiment something different? I've never been with a woman before. Mm-hmm. And I don't just, and that's, I'm just being honest. I don't ever desire to be with a woman. Yeah. Well, can you, say, do, can you say that back to Vaughn again? Because I let Vaughn know that I don't like niggas no more. He's first of all, that I have you been like with niggas. a woman before? No. He's never, listen what the <laughs> fuck he just said. He's never been with a woman. Have you took dick before? That doesn't mean I still that, like that. Answer the question. Have you? That it's yes. not, it's not the court of law, first yes, of all, nigga. You have. No. It's a but that doesn't make oh, me feel like niggas. Yes. But you yeah. understand? So you know what I'm saying? Because I did something in my past. When Jazz sat it. in this chair, it's, she's it's, never had dick. You have But what did Jazz say? But what did Jazz say? She she said she may want to do it. But for what? For a fucking baby. Yeah, That's but why. you did it for uh, without a baby. You just wanted it. And I don't want it no more. Oh, my and God. And I keep trying to explain Oh, wait, so we're going to get on that next, though, because <laughs> that, that's, that's good. Just, that don't even make but sense. I am How a, do it not I'm, make sense? Why can, why can you, for example, I can eat fucking bananas, and one day I don't like bananas no more, nigga. It's the same shit with dick. I don't mm. want this shit no that's more. That's not Ooh. the same. That's what do you mean? Nah, Boy, wait, that's you not tell me. So you're that telling me you never. Analogy. Ooh, what I'm saying is, so you're telling me it's food that you had as a child that you still eat. It's I, no food that you I'm would never tell eat. I'm you like again. this. You may not want it no more, but you already know what it tastes like. That don't mean you I still want it. We're talking about the act of wanting something. We're the not thing talking about, about it is, having it. If he was to say, I'm going to put it like this. If he was to say, yeah, I tried some pussy, but I just ain't like it. That's a one and done situation. You tried, you went back again, and I'm back I again. I had a boyfriend, nigga, that's different. And you went back again and back again. But did I have a boyfriend after that boyfriend? So no. you, oh, this <laughs> is I a I had good one boyfriend my whole fucking Just life. Just like I tell y'all, yeah. a nigga, he could try some, he can try some gay shit one time. If he don't like it, he ain't really gay. You know what I'm saying? A nigga, he could try a female one time. If he don't really like it, he ain't so straight. So then, hold on, let me ask you this question. But if I'm you keep about, going I'm about back, you're How gay. do we know he not straight if he never had no pussy before? You got a point there. So the point that I'm making but is that you knows, can have something and not want it. He know he is not not gay though. The nigga gay. He just don't know if he's straight <laughs> no, or, or not. And that's how I know. But I, you know how, you don't want no bitches. That's how I know every man ain't gay. That's a that is not an opinion. That's not nothing yeah, that nobody every, can every debate about. Gay, every man is yeah. not gay because I don't I don't desire women at all. Don't see them in that way at all. Not titties. Nothing. I'm not sexually attracted to women. Now that's I see been his whole life though. But, but for you, so, you first of all, you're talking about you, what you're doing is saying that the world is black and white. That's not real. No, I'm not saying that. If there's a He's quarter gray area, he ain't side. never done it, ain't never want it. It's been mornings you done woke up and be like, man, I'm gonna let my nigga beat my guts in today. It's a difference. There's never my been nigga. a day, first of all, there's never been a day I fucking ever said that. Let's, talk. <laughs> you had a Let's go back. There's never been a day I said that. Let's you had go a back. boyfriend before. Before we let Vaughn run off with that one. Because Vaughn out here fucking his third cousin and now I, I woke no. up that 
<laughs> but what I'm saying is, it's a different type of mindset. I'm not saying the world Agreed. is black and white. It's a different type of mindset. You tried it. You wanted it before. You let a nigga get it multiple times. And then times I came to a point where I realized that that's something I that actually shit. didn't want. Because guess what? Something I came to the realization with is that I was fucking with. I fucked with my nigga. He was cool. But I loved him, but I was never in love with him. I've never okay, been in so, love with so a nigga let, before. So let this be the termination. In your gay world now. In my gay world now. Are you using toys, dildo toys? Are you letting... uh? I don't let no girl strap me. Are you using it on yourself? No. Nigga, stop the cap. I don't like to be penetrated. I'm serious. So at all, you ain't penetrating No, nothing. I don't like to be none of that. No. I don't so like you to just be without it now. I like or maybe you, neck, you neck, ain't neck, straight neck, no more, neck. my nigga. Goddamn. Yeah, I, that's, I'm that's thinking what I'm maybe to you say, still letting the motherfucker like strap woman, you down or something. I feel like as a woman, you as a person in general, you grow into what you attracted to. You try things out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I tried it. It was cool. And but I realized oh, I like women more. Like I really like women. Even with men, some men, right? I feel like... I've met a lot of guys that that has had so many women mm-hmm. that they want to try something different. Yeah. I, I, that's why you see a lot of these and, celebrity niggas. Yes. When they hear these conversations about Diddy and all this shit, nigga done fuck so many hoes that he any girl he wanted to fuck. Now this nigga yeah. like, damn, what's next? I have literally met guys that have had so and I'm not talking about just four or five girls, I'm talking about half mm-hmm. had mm-hmm. women galore. And literally, it has came to their mind before, like, oh. No, it be, it be the niggas. Cause I, like I'm going to be nigga. real. I went to Howard, okay? And it's a bunch of beautiful women at Howard. I'm talking about it's some of the niggas that be fucking all the bitches who be fucking the niggas. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that be on the DL. So it's so interesting because, like you said, it do be like niggas just get kind of tired. Like, right? Because you got to understand, yeah. these niggas not fucked. All the girls they wanted. They had all the threesomes, all the foursomes, yeah. hella bitches, orgies, all this shit. And it's like, I got to do something new. And then they be like, damn, this shit don't even excite me no more. You know what I'm saying? Do you and think it, a man can be bisexual? Yes. I think he can, but in, 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 in my world, nigga, you still gay. You why, know what I'm saying? But why is that? Why is it? Because I just feel like, I feel like this is my, 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 where I draw the line. A nigga, you can do some gay shit, and if you ain't like it, don't ever go back. You ain't considered gay, cause I give, you, I can say you could try it one time. But is that and, bisexual? No, that's not. That's not even gay. He just tried some shit. He okay. ain't like it. He done with that shit. It's okay. like hell, no, nah, that shit ain't for me. Just like females, they try to eat some pussy and kiss their homegirl, and they be like, ah, I'm straight on that. I don't really gotta do mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. I give the niggas the same pass as that. Mm-hmm. But when you doing some dibbing and dabbing and. Every blue moon, you see a nigga that you might want to, you know what I'm saying? That's so why bi- is that not bisexual? That is, I mean, it's but bi, but you but said, you're gay. Nah, nigga, you get, but why? I have to ask because I always ask straight. Because when, when you like, look why? at it, oh, I, y'all got to use the bathroom so bad. When you look at it as society, oh. why, do you got a shit? No, I got a pee. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a pee so bad, but I'm not done with it. Are you able to like put a stop to this for a second? Go ahead, my nigga. Yeah, Run in there right quick. Yeah, I got to Hurry up. But leave it at that. <laughs> Don't um, change the conversation. We going to be right back, y'all. <laughs> but, I, but I like what you're saying, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ask that question all the time because a lot of straight men be like, oh, nah, that nigga gay. But it's like, why? But it's like but society so, so wait, wise, you consider me, you consider me what? Bi- bisexual, yeah. right? So why can a nigga not be bisexual? If I'm I don't not even saying like, if he I can't even... be. Just my opinion, you gay because it's not women out here that's going to be like, with except a bisexual man. And want to be with this nigga. Yes, it is. It's one, it's not think, that many. It's, it's not that many at all. But it, they, but they out there. They yeah, out I, there. You feel me? Like, I know. No, I don't think so. Hey, let him do his thing, man. But you know what I'm saying? I don't think that. I just, I just think it's very unfair that motherfuckers be like, if a nigga do some shit, then he gay. He I said one time. But that you just say he not he not bi. If he's he's not gay time. if he do it one time. But if you dibbling and dabbling, you bi. But in my world, so if he, really he got a girl, gay. he really like he fuck with her, and he got a nigga, he might. Is his let girl him accepting that girl. shit? Is his girl like yeah, nigga, women, you can go fuck women, this nigga? Yeah, some women I don't believe don't care. that, bro. It's it's some women out there. It's it's not many, but it's some women out there. Them, them women them women ain't finna accept a nigga. Dibbling, dabbing with niggas while you coming to fuck with her. They not women not doing that shit. It's not many, but it's some out there. It's women are not so women are not okay with these niggas dibbing with niggas and then coming back to her. You know what? I I found that the few women that I do know that be like they don't care. Those are more dominant, masculine. So what when, what women. woman has you run across with? She like yeah, I deal with a bisexual nigga. One of my homegirls. That's weird, bro. Why? I just feel like it's weird. Why is it like weird? I just don't feel like that's like So would you fuck with a bisexual woman? 
Hell yeah, I want so, threesomes and all that shit. Okay, so okay, so okay, all right. Let's get, all right, let's get into. So this. listen, let me let me ask you this though. Do you think? Okay, so this is how I feel, right? And I want you as a heterosexual man. Why can't a woman say that she does not want to be with a man who desires men? Why she can't? It's not that I'm saying she can't. I just feel like in my world, women not accepting that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of... If that's the case, if women was accepting of that shit, you wouldn't even have the term of a DL man. Niggas would be out here just like, fuck it. The girl still gonna fuck with though. me. I think more niggas are DL because of the judgment they may, may receive no. from their male friends. The, and the but judgment that's, that's is, synonymous because that's what he's mm-hmm. saying. The judgment like, it's the same is because thing. of the women. No. I'm trying to tell mm-hmm. you. The judgment is coming Homo, from more, the women. More, more niggas that, are homophobic. More niggas are homophobic than than bitches be homophobic. But in a relationship, they it's not, different. They are homophobic. She would prefer if, to be yeah, friends. But like for example, if you as a masculine straight man, right, and you got your homeboys, if one of your homeboys find out you fucking and sucking dick, that nigga gonna be homophobic and not want you to be around him. And that's cool. That's though, where that I'm judgment saying, come from. Where niggas nigga, be wanting to be niggas. DL. We don't give a fuck of what our homeboy think. We care about. That's we a do lie. all this that's shit for lie. the hoes. Period. We do all this shit for the hoes. We dress for the hoes. We buy these cars, these jewels for the hoes. What the fuck would that nigga say? If these hoes is like, yeah, we okay with you doing it, niggas will be out. It wouldn't be a DL man. Ooh. I'm trying to tell you. If these, I, I women are not accepting that shit. They do not want to be, if that's the case. First of all, if a bitch love you for real, for real, she will let you do the craziest shit. That's why bitches be tolerating when y'all niggas be cheating. Bruh, she's not finna be okay with you going okay. to fuck a nigga, Bitches bro. be okay with y'all cheating. That's like, not you as a man, ooh. not you, but bitches be okay with, not okay with, but bitches be okay with niggas beating their ass, cheating on them, That's getting totally other bitches. Different. Pre- why is it totally That's different? That's totally different. It's still a violation of her. Of it's her. a violation, but I don't feel like a man experiencing his sexuality is compared to beating ass and... That's that's different. Cheating? Because what Vaughn is saying is, when is, it comes down to sexuality. when it comes down to sexuality, especially with black men, it's like they are it's limited. No, you can't even eat a banana the wrong way. Yeah, we you just can't even see yeah. a certain type of way. You, 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 know can't even, <laughs> so you, you can't even. Really so who you really thinking? So you so you saying it's women that setting these standards, not men? That's what you saying. Hell yes. That's cap. I'm sorry. It's Hell both, yes. though, Vaughn. It's right, both. I'm sorry, Vaughn. Because it's, even though you be a are, lot of niggas I do get net. what you're saying as far as you saying, oh, well, it's the woman, it's the woman. Nah, they because be a niggas. lot of men do things for their homeboys. Yes, exactly. That's man. why a lot of niggas is locked up now. A lot of niggas be gay. Fuck them niggas. Yeah, but a lot of niggas be gay for, for their homeboys. homeboys. Boy, a lot of niggas, niggas. A lot of niggas will do way more shit for their homeboys when they even do some shit for their bitch. And them, that's corny. That's corny. But at the end of the day, these niggas is doing this shit for them hoes. I'm trying to tell you. It ain't got shit to do with their homeboys, bruh. I'm cool with a lot of gay niggas. I don't judge them niggas. I don't give a fuck about what they do. Storm and Rowe, one of my good friends, they tell me this nigga gay all the time. I don't fucking know, but I don't sit here <laughs> and question and judge him about this shit. Mm-hmm. Nigga, you come out when you come out, if that's what if you, you do. If you do, you don't. I don't know. judge you on that. It's not for us, my Be nigga. Feminine? Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like... I don't really know. Like, I don't question a nigga on the shit. It's like, the, uh, they say what they say. I mean, it's that's not a good dude. You it's a not good for dude. me to sit there and be like, niggas, you gay? Because you know I can't, yeah. I can't have you around me because they don't think I'm gay, which they have said. But it's before. a lot of niggas that are like that. But that's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of men like that specifically that won't be around gay niggas. But that because they're not though. comfortable with who that they are. That ain't me. I've learned for being sure. in Atlanta. That's really what it be. Nah, and I had to Vaughn, tell my I'm gonna have to daddy agree this. with her on that. that be, in, in, in high school. Yes. Those is the one. It's the men. It's not the women. So that's yeah. why. And that's, that's why that's I do what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can about. agree it's on the that. The women be your but... safe haven. They protect you. Yeah, I can it's agree on that. It's the men that be like. When you grow no. up, you but get that, picked but it's on. Okay, so I'm sorry. Let me be clear. That's what I'm talking about. Where the DL thing forms because yeah, men don't feel comfortable. Yeah, it forms when you're younger. Because I'm gonna be honest. As black men, y'all already get well, black women too. But y'all get enough shit as is. Yeah, we talked about this. Can't smoke hookah. Can't drink mimosas. Can't eat bananas. Can't I love hot dogs. I can't like, even eat a hot wild. dog no more. Out of yeah. quick trip. Niggas can't, can't eat hot dogs no more. It's like, yeah, can't, can't eat, eat an eat egg food. roll. Can't eat no egg rolls. <laughs> but <laughs> I think a lot of that shit come, I mean, I hang out with, I used to hang out with a lot of niggas. It be my homeboys doing the, oh, that shit gay, nigga, da da da, pointing that shit out. That yeah. make niggas uncomfortable. So then when a nigga is on some DL shit where he don't know who he is or he trying to figure <laughs> it out. Be, well, I tell you that, it's so fake. Yeah. But well, tell me this. Is it a nigga that you done hit before or done hit you? Because you the, you the back, right? Uh-huh. Well, how do you say Bottom. That? Bottom. Is it a nigga that's, 
that you done gave something to before, you was like, damn, I can't believe that nigga wanted to fuck with me. That's 90% of them. Mm-hmm. For real? <laughs> Boy. You know it's crazy. So I feel you like a, you understand you what I'm about gag to say. You we got a gay terminology. Are. Gag is like yes. you would be blown away. That it. I'm telling you, like, and, and I need this clip for yeah, my yeah. page. You can have this shit because that, like, when girls, that's the number one thing when women ask, like, how do I know if my man is gay or not, or like, if you how will I know? And yeah. I be trying to they tell always these females, put, it's a facade that I be they have to, to tell do. these females. You might know if your nigga a little gay if you eating his butt and you jamming your finger in his shit at the same time. It don't even be that. No, it don't even be that. that. You, yeah. That's, that. Doing that's that. in the bedroom, Vaughn. Stop uh-huh. doing that shit to these <laughs> niggas, bro. Stop trying to test the nigga gayness by eating his ass and sliding your finger in his butt. Nah, Stop doing you that to these about, niggas. Nigga, you talking about the bedroom. I'm talking about on the surface. Mm-hmm. The I'm telling you. What's the you, surface? I'm telling you, the boys that be gaydar. around each other. Yeah, we got a gay And when a gay nigga mm-hmm. come around, it's like, nah, I want to be. What the, don't be the I niggas. Don't be the ones. Don't be like you. he a hating ass yes. nigga. Like, I, don't bring me around that nigga. Don't oh, be the ones. Yes. No, I'm, oh my. Yes. And if it was a room full of gays in here, they would all go up. That, those is the ones. Yes. It's, it's literally like, hey, Arnold. How Helga behind closed doors, she was yes. in love with Arnold, but. Outside, because nobody else fought with Hey Arnold, that is what she had to do. She had to give that same perspective. Yeah. But remember how behind closed she was in love yeah, yeah. For the nigga with Hey did. Arnold, like mm-hmm. fantasized about him. It's a facade. They just do that when they around their homeboys. Like I lost my virginity to a nigga like that. It's just a, it's an act so that your homeboys don't think nah, because it's not. Even though we have come a long way, it's still not fully accepted. Mm-hmm. So you can't be around your homeboys making it seem like that's okay. So it's just like you're gonna have to act like what you think is the norm. Like, I don't wanna be around that. It's a facade. Them man, the I mean, it's always the niggas, niggas who be man, the old niggas shit the most. Like, I had to tell my daddy that shit. He was telling me, like, man, why you wanna live in Atlanta, man? All them gay niggas down there. I'd be like, bruh, these gay niggas be making some money. They got all the connections. They got all the hoes. I be wanting to be running. Man, and they also you, leave you know more hoes for you. They be got, they have all the motion. Yeah. Like, you really can't just. Deny these people of a normal life and treat them like a normal person because he's gay. Like, the only reason you feel that way is maybe because you might be that way. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It's just weird. It's Not weird. saying my daddy like that. I'm just saying, like, nah, niggas, yeah. he old school. Them niggas just on that type of time. <laughs> it's really a, it's a mind thing, too. Yeah. Because you have a lot of men that, man, we don't have all day. Nah, tell it's, me. It's a mind thing. When I tell you, if, if, if you really think about it, if you are secure in who you are, mm-hmm. what I'm doing is not, not, it's not affecting you, yeah. you. I have been around straight men that will let me know, like, I, had a, I have a friend. Her nigga is not gay. Yeah. They have been together almost three years. I have been around this man when he done had his shirt off. I done been a, and when I tell you, have never Looked at come him. on to yeah. me. He has, and he make it very clear he ain't gay. He's super cool. It's not like he just sit in my face all day, Keith. But he's super cool. When you're securing yourself, what I have going on, it's not your business. And yeah, that'd be the yeah. same shit I be trying to tell females. It's like the homegirl that always hating on your nigga and y'all relationship. She want to fuck your nigga. Be the main motherfucker yep. that want to fuck the shit That's out your nigga. Fact. Be mad that the nigga doing this and that for you. Stop telling your homegirl how the big the nigga dick is and how he be blowing your back out. Because in her mind, she like, damn, is that good? I need uh-huh. to see what the fuck this about. I be trying to tell you, it be them type of mindset folks that really be hating on the low that really want to fuck with the shit you uh-huh. got going on. Uh-huh. Shit yep. is crazy. Yep, it is. <laughs> yeah. But it's all a facade. It's, it's all, all a facade. It, when I tell you, it be a facade. Shit, wow. Because when you comfortable with yourself, it's, it's not your business. Facts. It's well, the facade or it's the uh, over over sexualization, like trying to go and fuck a bunch of bitches that act like they not gay. Yeah, those too. Those, too. those be the ones too. Mm-hmm. That too, for sure, for sure. Those be the ones, one hundred percent, man. Well, please. Well, man, I, I sure appreciate you for coming through. The interview over already, man. I ain't gonna hold you. You say you got. I got. I got. I got. I ain't got nothing to do. Go ahead and we can finish and wrap it up. We done been here a damn hour. Oh, we been here hour. Yes. <laughs> you want? You want to keep going? We yeah, still yeah, got a whole yeah. week of promo when we put this shit out. Right. I need you to go Instagram live with me. I got to post these clips with you. We got a whole. Oh, also, for you. this is my last week of fasting. For real? So you back yeah, in the streets? Yeah, so I'm back in the streets next weekend. You back in the streets? Next weekend. You outside? Or or else. I'm drinking champagne next Ooh. weekend. I might fuck around, bring me a little bottle of Bel Air in here. Shit, let's pop. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be Easter, though, so I may not. Let's do it. I do it. Pop a bottle for I'm Jesus. I'm going to the Hawks game next Friday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 7th. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm going to the Hawks game. Me and my girl. Oh, also. Sitting on the floor. Shout out to March Madness. The, the games have been crazy. South Carolina. Columbia games Country. have been crazy. Uh, shout outs to International Women's Month, which was March. Like For I sure. said, Howard recognized me. And I got a single drop in April 16th, so. What you got? Yeah, you got your TV show. You ain't got no products. Yeah, yeah. I have a product coming out on my birthday. Uh -huh. I have a really dope event coming out in June. Okay. Um, my show is coming out. Stay tuned. I got a lot of stuff. You need coming. to drop some but, underwear though. Yeah, I know. Everybody tell me that. Get on Alibaba and do that shit. To everybody, everybody else, my nigga, stop playing. Tell me that. Matter you fact, know what it is. Matter of fact, I got the plug. Plug me. I got the plug. We can create your Shopify website, do everything for you. What's going on, y'all? It's the one of the only Brian B at Big Sexy Official. This interview was so good. I'm actually not even ready to go, but I got to go because, you know, I got to get to the bag. But it was amazing, and I definitely set the record straight. All right, y'all. Yes, thank you, baby. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for tuning in. This episode 12, man, yes. set the record straight. We got more coming. Stay tuned. Y'all already know what time it is. I'm like, I'm going to die. Because I, I knew I got hit so many times. I was like, oh, yeah, it's over with. This is dying. That's, That's their new we, name. We got to call them that. We, we. <laughs> he kind of said it. He was like, my ideal girl, the girl that I'm going to be with.